So why don't we just dive right into uh, what what is the business buy box, business repricing, and why should people care about it? Yeah, great, great question, question, Todd. So I guess uh, the thing to keep in mind before you even go into what is business repricing and the business buy box is what is Amazon business, which essentially is just Amazon's play at um, offering bulk purchasing to businesses. So anyone that has a business credit card put into uh, Amazon will be eligible for an Amazon business account. And then what Amazon is attempting to do is compete with wholesalers directly who, who sell to everyone from you know construction to manufacturing to cleaning services, anyone that might need to order in quantity um, and at a discounted rate for ordering in quantity. And they're, they're you know, trying to really attack this market. And it's been a huge growth industry, I think, um, during one of the earnings calls uh, earlier this year. Um, Andy JC, I think, said, you know, that it was a $25 billion business now, Amazon business, or Amazon B2B. And it's only growing, but people don't realize that you can offer different prices to consumers than you offer to business buyers. And that means that there is a different buy box for business as well as different buy boxes for all of the quantity discounts. So the quantity discounts, to, to be a bit more specific on that, is uh, anytime you're offering a discounted rate for buying more than one unit. And, um, and uh, this is the part of, of, uh, uh, of the uh, industry that I think uh, people in Amazon are missing out on. Yeah, for sure. It's I've been utilizing business repricing and quantity discounts for quite a while. But uh, one thing that I think is a huge tip for anybody that buys on Amazon, if you don't have your account set up as a business account and you're buying a lot of stuff on Amazon, you're, you're overpaying for so many different products. It's, it amazes me sometimes when I go to a listing and I'm looking at, let's say, a $50 or $60 product and my business price is $10 cheaper, $15 cheaper sometimes. Not always. A lot of times it's, you know, 50 cents, a dollar, two dollars cheaper, but sometimes it can be really substantial. And, you know, the people listening to this are probably starting a business or have a business. So you should be able to get a business card. But even if you don't have a business, it's pretty easy to get a business credit card if you do, if you sell anything. If you sold, of game, a used game on eBay, you technically have a business and you could probably apply for a business card, enter that in the Amazon and just use that as a hack to get cheaper prices for stuff you buy. Yeah. So I think it's, it's, it's an interesting one because, you know, where, where, um, you know, sellers and sellers aligned. And so there is an element of, um, we're also users of Amazon. So we obviously want cheap deals. We all want a cheap deal. I bought a, um, a sous vide the other day, <laughs> sporadically, you know, those uh, tools that boil um, meats really well to, to be able to sear them. Um, so, you know, we, we all want a good deal on anything that we buy. And um, at the same time, we're sellers, so we're trying to maximize our profit and maximize our margins. And so I think that one of the, the questions that we always get asked is, well, why would I want to offer a business discount? Why would I want to sell a product at a discounted rate? Um, and, you know, ultimately... Um, it's a decision to make, but it's such a big market that if you're not offering discounts um, to business buyers, you're not offering an offer to the market, you can't make the money. And so there is definitely an opportunity cost between velocity and profit. Um, and for wholesalers and bigger sellers out there, it's a zero-sum game. They're trying to move inventory. They want to decrease their IPI scores. They want to get um, high-performing goods back into fulfillment centers. And so, you know, you bring up a really good point. It is discounted rates, discounted products, but it's about getting more inventory through the door. Are, are you, Todd, are you, do you do Amazon business? As a seller? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, we, like I said in the beginning, we use SellerSnap, your guys' repricer. And so as soon as that, the ability to reprice the business buy box came into the software, we turned it on immediately. I mean, we were doing it some before that, but, you know, we've got like a thousand SKUs. So it's a little bit of a pain to go through and set all of them up individually and then manage them and reprice them. So we weren't doing it a lot before then, but since the repricer started doing it for us, we do it for all of our products. 
Yeah, and I think that's something we heard around for a long time was that there wasn't really a way to do business repricing. Um, so people wanted to do it. You know, you want to move more inventory. Most people are willing to sacrifice some profit in, 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 um, in exchange for moving more inventory through the door. Um, and so when we released this tool, a lot of our bigger sellers um, and some of our smaller ones jumped right on and then sort of said, um, we're going to we're going to enable this solution because it's worth it for us to get extra velocity and open ourselves up to this new emerging market in Amazon business.